how you guys thank you for tuning into chris codes if you haven't already hit the like button notification bell if you will comment subscribe and yeah stay tuned because we're about to really get into it All right, so let's get right into the video. So I've never talked about this topic on my channel. So I thought, why not? Recently on Instagram, and I guess every social media platform for that matter, um, it's been a video posted quite a bit. Um, and it pertains to Rick Ross and the dream, I believe. Yes, the dream. And it was a show about, because Rick Ross apparently owns this recording um, studio company, not in the mix of it, so I don't know, but I believe it's called MGM. And he had a show, and it's called Signed. So basically, there was no women that was signed to his label, so he had a show similar to Making the Band, if you all are, um, remember or are familiar with that OTV show with Diddy. He has a show like that, or had a show like that. So, of course, it was a bunch of women basically competing to be the first woman in GM. Now, granted, Rick Ross did um, speak on why he never had a female or a woman in MGM. He basically said, spending all this money, you know, on photo shoots and recording studios this and this that and the third he said that he would feel obligated to quote unquote hit it you know basically he's saying if i'm going to be spending money on you you're going to be giving me some you know you know I, you know you feel like you know i never did it because i always thought like i would end up fucking the female rapper <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> fucking the business up here. <laughs> I'm so That's focused awful. on my business. I'm just, I gotta be honest with you. You know, you know, she looking good. And I'm spending so much money on her photo shoots. I gotta fuck what her you got a couple to times. <laughs> Not like he's gonna be making money off her music, you know. But who knows? Maybe I don't know. So, long story short, um, I guess I could be doing my makeup right. <laughs> so we're gonna be using all drugstore products. Um, I went and got these just for you all. So we're going to be using, and I don't even use foundation if you watch my um, makeup and message um, videos. So you all know I try to step it up a bit. You know, 2021, we're doing better, bigger and better things. So I got the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Um, it's in D10. I got... The Cover Girl True Blend Undercover um, Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And of course, some correctors and all that good stuff. So let's get right into the look. So I've already moisturized that. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be adding some clips in here. So for those of you all that aren't familiar with this story, y'all will be able to, you know, kind of get a feel for it so you can understand where everyone's coming from so the clip starts off with um a girl they call just britney and she's singing kind of like a remake of one of rick ross's songs um i think it's ashton martin music or something like that whatever the song's not bad you know i'm not i'm no hater but just Britney was, she was okay. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. But it wasn't great either. Okay. But it was very obvious that he was attracted to the young lady and she was an attractive young lady. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to knock her or anything of that nature. But that's not what we are here for. It's a singing competition. So this is my first time using all this stuff, you all. So I really hope. I actually think that's not too bad. It has like a um a undertone to it, a reddish undertone, which I have. So 
I don't think it's too bad to let's see I'm kind of nervous because you know I do I barely wear makeup now so I'm not trying to waste my money let's see let's see y'all let's see okay I don't hate it I don't hate it <laughs> Okay, come through with the match, Crystal. Come through with the match. Drugstore, y'all. Drugstore. Now, okay. So, look what I was talking about. It wasn't amazing. Oh, you all. I'm such an amateur. I'm supposed to do the color corrector first. So I'm glad I didn't get up to my eyes and stuff yet. So, I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have to bear with me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do better with the makeup for y'all. Eventually, I'm going to be on it. But I'm guessing it's not going to be today continue so i'm gonna insert a clip probably here um with just britney's version of the song then we have miss kaya i believe that's her name who also did a version to rick ross's song and the girl can blow there's no doubt about it the girl can blow. Your future bright, shorty, your future bright. <laughs> the music was bright. Smartest move of my life. I knew the song Boss Vibes that I did was going to get Ross's attention because I went to his past and I redid something and I put my own little twist to it and he liked it. My whole goal of this whole competition is to be the first lady of MMG. That's, that's what I want. I can look this good and I can get a lot of attention, but I use my valedictorian mind skills and I make sure I take care of my business. Me and another person had the same beat. I'm really curious who has the other beat she has the same beat. Oh, oh, Kaya. Kaya. So y'all be able to hear the difference in R&B and hip hop. Oh, oh. Shots fired. Uh -oh. Shots fired. <laughs> Kaya and I, we had the same beat. I wasn't trying to be mean or catty or anything. I just had to put it out there because I had to save myself. Kaya, you better deliver, Kaya. I believe in you, Kaya. That wasn't the best platform for your voice. Nope. You have a, a unique voice. And Brit did sound better than yours. They like mine's best, so it is what it is. Every time you present your music, you better be a superstar. My song gets original, I wrote it myself. Britney used the same exact melody and the same ad-libs. You didn't change anything. I think he was so blinded by the butt that he's not even paying attention like that. Britney cheated. She was kind of like a hypocrite. Even if we were supposed to be competition, I would never hate on someone. Her doing the same melody as Maybach music and her getting put on a pedestal, that's crazy. I don't want to be petty, but like she just thinks it's the Britney show. That's music business for me. And he sat up there and said that the other girl's version was better. And when you see the, the difference in the versions and how one of the girls can sing and one of the girls just was just, you know, she was just okay. I'm be completely honest. She was just okay. And that's what brings you to society now or black men in general and i'm and i don't i'm not trying to bash black men because trust me i think we get enough of that but it's so many of them it's literally so many of them that have this like self-hate complex and it's tragic you know it's tragic so let's let's say you went through like very traumatic 
things in your childhood. So you're basically taking your anger out on everyone else and all that. These people don't know what you've been through in your childhood. They don't know what you've gone through, what you're, what you're going through, past tense and present tense. And at some point in time, you're going to have to grow up, right? Whether you're getting counseling to deal with your issues, talking to someone about it. At some point in time, you're going to have to grow up. I'm letting my foundation dry. Oh, this is so terrible. Y'all, I'm going to, I'm, this is going to take way too long. So I'm going to have to come back after the fact, after I open this up. I can't believe I'm struggling this bad. So I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to cut this video all the way up. <laughs> you guys so i actually stopped took the makeup off threw on some color corrector and then proceeded with the foundation so i'm actually almost done applying the foundation i have to do my forehead and most of the side of the face where you can see a little bit of the color corrector i did add it but this i'm i don't hate the foundation what do you all think it's not bad like because to me it's very light and the, one of the reasons i don't wear foundation is because i feel like it's very heavy it gives me uh, you know, I'm going to the ball when I'm just running to Target, you know, <laughs> but it's not giving me that. It's very, very lightweight and I'm loving it. So back to what I was saying. After you all see the clips, it's just like, wow, you know, and with me, like I've never really experienced like stuff like that in my family and like the black men in my family. So I just see it, you know, in like the media or like, a few and then I've dated, you know? And with me, I'm not like, we all have our insecurities, but being dark skin is not one of them. <laughs> it's just not one of them. Do I like the contour here and there? You know, give me a little highlight. Sure, your whole face is not one color, <laughs> but that's not an insecurity in mine. So it's either you're gonna love my brown skin or you're gonna keep it pushing, you know what I mean? And nowadays, like a lot of black women are wising up they're like you know we're not gonna take the crap <laughs> they're like we're we not we're not gonna be going for it now i will give um just britney her props i'll enter um, what she stated about the whole ordeal and um about the clip she actually said it she was just like yeah kaya is like a very um very creative person and you know she's very talented and she gave the girl her props at the end of the day and I had a lot of respect for that because a lot of women of like lighter complexions don't want to say that like that's facts because other races now they still find us tried <laughs> we're just speaking on black men that's why I know it's like deep rooted and it's just kind of odd because it's most of the dark skinned ones too and she did. She spoke up about it. All right, let's see what this this concealer is doing, y'all. Let's see what this concealer is doing. Use this beauty blender. I use a gray. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna do my. No rules first. It's actually not bad. I don't hate it. I didn't want to put too much because I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. And you know, it's going to just go spread it around like so. But I don't hate it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So, for just like going in the store and trying to figure this out, y'all, I didn't do too shabby. <laughs> I did not do too shabby with the match, bro. Okay. So, yeah. It's just kind of sickening. And it's the video also um, of this uh, black guy and his girlfriend, this um which, who's white and she speaks on how other cultures view black men and basically how 
when white women are seen with a black guy or get a lot of attention from a black guy they say that you're not you're not looked at as oh you know she's getting a lot of attention people are like wow she must be beautiful it's not seen that way it's it's seen like oh you're you don't get much attention from white men so she's for the black guys and that's why when people say oh once you go black you never go, you, you don't go back because a lot of times they don't want you anymore and and it's sad to say like it, it's it's sad to say especially let's say you've had children with them now your children are biracial and now other white guys they now know they no longer want her she's like somewhat tainted and but i'm gonna insert a few clips here and there just for you all to like kind of see what i'm saying but i don't think girls you said um you don't think, think they're too good for white too, guys too good for we don't think because you got black guys good. coming at you do you think you're too good for white guys no so if a white guy tried to talk to you at starbucks what would you do i don't think black guys being attention paying me attention and makes me too good for the white guys what does that even mean i just so let's say you go to a bar right and so like five so black guys saying, come up and start trying to talk to you do you think a white guy if five black guys come up and start to talk to you would you talk to a white guy why wouldn't i because the black guys are paying attention. yeah but so does that mean <laughs> that those women think black guys are better than white guys I don't know. I can't speak like to I, I don't see that. I don't understand that at because all. black guys are because black guys are such a small. If you put all the men in one room, black guys is like a small part of the room. Yes. White guys take up most of the room. Yeah. So when you're being noticed by that small group, because it's so small, it becomes kind of like more valuable to some people because it's less. No, of I think it, it's an scarcity. opposite. I think it's an opposite effect. Like because if, it's scarcity. If you grow up as a white girl. Yes. And you get attention to, from black guys. Yes. In my experience, and all the other white girls that I know, mm -hmm. we don't think that getting attention from black guys gives you a status of some sort. If you get attention from the white guys, no, you, have, uh, you do have the status more than if you get attention from black guys. As a man, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that. Well, as a woman who gets attention <laughs> yes. and who grew up in a white culture more than a black culture, yes. I'm going to tell you that getting attention from black guys is not a badge of honor if you're white. Hmm. Okay. And I'm white. You are white. Yes. All right. Now this, this is my, what I'm talking about is not you're pure white you're you're actually the real caucasian i'm talking about american white girls. yeah but i've experienced the culture i know why i've it depends on the white. type of female i'm still white it yeah. depends on the type of female a female like you i don't think you would see it as a status symbol. no but i'm talking about people around me yeah and people who would hang with you yes people. yeah but there's certain types of girls who you wouldn't hang around yeah, but getting, see it as if a white girl gets attention from a white guy, that's more yes. valuable in white culture than if she gets attention from a black guy. If she gets attention from a black guy, that's not a that doesn't make you a better anything. Like that doesn't raise you in anybody's eyes. As a matter of fact, in, in some people's eyes, it does. As a matter of fact, it's it's a little bit of a like a oh, you know, she's basically not good enough for the white, so she's good for the black guys. That's how it's looked at in with white people. I see it the opposite way, but but we all we both got our own perspective. That's why we had this show so we could both share our own yeah. perspective. I I can I've experienced that and saw that and people verbalize that to me many many times. It's like I actually was pursued by a guy who found out that black guys were paying attention to me and he was so turned off. Like he was so turned off. So I experienced it, um, you know, intimately like that. Right. But. And even in this video, it's like the dude was in denial. Like, it was so cringy. It's like, does he hear what she's saying? And he said, like, as a man, um, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. <laughs> what? <laughs> first of all, you're not black. You, excuse me. First of all, you're not white. Second of all, you're not white. <laughs> How are you going to disagree with what her culture, how her culture views you if you're not in her culture? It makes no sense. Like, and that's what gets me. Another thing about, about this whole thing is these same guys will swear up and down 
that you're like envious of them in their relationship <laughs> like it's 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 funny because i'll even like deal with that in my workplace and whatnot hold on y'all i'm talking too much let it dry a bit i let it dry a bit had to let it so i can blend that thing out Okay, so yes, I've experienced that in the workplace where you'll have, you know, an African American guy, right? And literally, like, he'll come in with his white girlfriend, a white wife, and then they'll act like you want to give him, give them attitude. So they'll actually give you attitude or be overly aggressive and just like, nose up and then you they'll be it's like you'll be shocked at it's like they expect you to have an attitude so they off rip have one and it just makes them look rude and nasty for no reason and then when you're overly nice or when you're just nice in general and they kind of look at you like something's wrong with you. Like, no, something's wrong with you. Nobody's envious of what you have. Nobody cares. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like nobody cares. What's for us is for us. What's for you is for you. Like we say, it's okay to have your preference. It's okay to like what you like. Just don't down everybody else just because that's what you like, you know? I don't, I don't like black women because they're this. Or I don't like black women because they're that. Did black women, did we, did anybody ask you that? Did anybody ask you? <laughs> you know, like, I just, I'm just, I'm just, it, it's the unnecessary explanations for me. Okay. <laughs> it's the, I want to bash them for me. Just because, you know, just because. It's the just because for me. And it just makes no sense it makes no sense and i'm not here for it okay so and just with the whole colorism aspect it's, and even with that it's like if you really want to dig deep god was looking out for kaya anyway anyway because like i said rick ross said that whole if I'm spending money on this or I'm spending money on that, I'm going to expect to what? And I don't know about you, but <laughs> I'm not too, I'm not trying to be mean, but isn't that the same man that said, put a little Molly in her, she need know it. Put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't need no. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't need no. Got a All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm not here for it. Like, we're just going to, we're going to call a spade a spade. And it's so funny because you had your say, your preferences and all type of stuff. And they still be dogging them. That's that's the thing. It's like you, y'all will put these women on a pedestal, but you treat them just as bad, sometimes even worse. You know, it beats me. And if you want to look at the celebrities now that's in, dating their preferences or married to their preferences, where are they now? Dr. Dre. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where are they now? Are you in the leave? Women that were there with you when you had nothing. On some Kevin Hart type stuff, you know? And bash him later. Like, it's just so, it's so, like, ill to me. It's so ill to me. It's really just ill. <laughs> it's the audacity for me. <laughs> but, yeah. 
we're just gonna have a moment of silence for these men because what's done in the dark comes to light and everything's kind of coming out now and people are starting to realize what's really been taking place when we've already known what's been going down we've already known what's been going on and we've come to copes and moved on we're unbothered <laughs> and for the black men that don't think the way that some of these people do we're here for it but the ones that don't have that you know we like have that period but i also feel we should not blame a lot of them for their outlook on things or how they feel about certain things because they're not the reason they didn't do it they didn't do it even with the danny lee song insert into thinking like I'm trying to bash another woman another skin tone like get it that was but I'm not that <laughs> I'm not a colorist I'm not a racist I date a whole chocolate man I have beautiful dark skin friends like and skin isn't something I even see like it's not something that I look at like you know so yeah I don't live for the internet I just because people don't know me so that's why I thought it was important to speak on it because because you don't know me it's like let me tell you guys what I meant by this. So hopefully you guys can watch this with a open heart, a genuine mind, and just, you know, try to get past it. I'm sorry. Again, if I offended people who are truly offended, I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep grinding, keep doing me, keep posting me, and, see. and yeah. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. And yeah, it's all love. They didn't do it. They didn't make themselves, oh, you know, like, we look better than y'all. We're just better than y'all. Like, they were told these things. They were made to feel like they were better than because of something they couldn't control. And it's just, you know, a product of, you know, slavery. It's like that. We could go all day. We could talk all day about it. But it is what it is. So it's either you're going to wake up, get some counseling, <laughs> get some therapy, you know, and love yourself. Or you're just going to be, you know, bashed and looking crazy at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> but because we're just going to be here unbothered and loving those who love us. We'll love everyone, of course, because, you know, you, ha you have to love everyone. But... You all can say what you want. You can say what you want about us or think we're this and we're that or we're we're ugly, we're, we're whatever, monkeys and whatever you want to call it. But we know we know different. We know different. So I'm going to be back with this final look. Stay tuned. Thank you guys. Right, you guys, I'm back with the final look. So this is drugstore y'all and i'm not gonna lie i don't hate it i don't hate it <laughs> you know like, it's, i'm digging this it's nice it's like and oh i didn't even do a setting spray oh my gosh oh my gosh did i hit my face at all hold on y'all <laughs> I have some reason but food I have it. Go back. That's the side. Y'all. 
okay, Maybelline, maybe it's Maybelline, <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's MAC, maybe it's Fenty. Who knows? Like, we're doing it. That's nice. And we're going to get close up. Y'all. Y'all. I do a little, a little gloss for a little soft glam. So I've been binging Jackie Iana. Um, if you, um, like I said, I'm going to do a vlog soon. So at, in the vlog, you see me like actually heading to get this, get this, you know, these items. Um, yeah, I should have been vlogging while I was shopping for it, but I'm sorry. I'm new to this, you know, I'm new to this. So yeah, well, um, to finish off this makeup and a message, I just want to say that thank you all, um, for watching and thank you for the black men that don't bash us whenever they get the opportunity, you know, <laughs> and are just that love themselves and love them some of us, you know, cause we love y'all too. Now for the ones that don't keep it to yourself. We didn't ask. Now, thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. It's either going to be a Wardrobe Wednesday or a Foolishness Friday. I think it's going to be a Wardrobe Wednesday since I did Foolishness Friday last week. But if you haven't already, hit the like button, notification bell if you will, comment, subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Bye! <laughs>